show by means of a calculation that r is equals to 0.05 meters so that is 7.3 the assumption is that 7.1 and 7.2 are really easy no one is really interested in that so for past papers actually if you want the memo to this quest uh, to this question paper without having to watch all the videos go to allpastpapers.com you're going to be writing chemistry on monday life sciences soon geography soon for the best study material go to allpastpapers.com let's solve the question right a sphere x is placed at a point a on a horizontal surface x carries a charge of plus three times 10 to the minus x columns point p is r meters to the left of point a show by means of a calculation that r is equal to 0.05 so what are we looking for and what do we have r is equal to 0.05 that's what we're trying to show right uh what do we have we're given the electric field at p it is 1.08 times 10 to the 6 and then we have the charge of x qx right which is 3 times 10 to the minus 7 columns 3 times 10 to the minus 7 columns right um 7.3 e is equals to k q over r squared why are we picking this formula it's not that it's our favorite we have the variables that we have and it's the variables that decide which formula we use so 1.08 times 10 to the power 6 is equal to 9 times 10 to the power 9 k is a constant multiplied by 3 times 10 to the minus 7 divided by r squared so r squared is equal to right so now i need to press my calculator 9 times 10 to the power 9 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the minus 7 divided by 1.08 times 10 to the power 6 so this is this is 1 over 400 so r is equals to so the square root of that that is 0 0.05 so r is equals to 0 0.05 meters right 7.3 sphere y carrying a charge of minus 5 times 10 to the minus 7 columns is now fixed at point p okay and so we have z carrying a charge of minus 4 times 10 to the minus 7 columns is 0 0.04 meters to the right of sphere x well okay it's fine uh 7.4 the net force acting on sphere x is 0 0.0427 newtons at point a right is the surface frictionless choose from yes or no explain the answer by means of calculation huh. so what is the opinion is the surface frictionless we're given the net force okay so 7.4 we have the net force we have f net all right um which is 0 0.0427 so on and so on and the question is that is the surface frictionless okay so how can we determine that we're given the charge of y we're given the charge of z and then we're told that uh x is fixed in the question um okay if x is fixed it's stationary right it means that it's not moving uh in either direction so if it is fixed then it means our f net should actually be equals to zero as a consequence of y and z okay so we'll calculate the net force as a consequence of at x as a consequence of y and z and see if it is equals to 0 0.0427 if it is equals to 0 .0, 0 0.0427 then there's no friction because f net right in the absence of friction should be equals to f x y right plus 
f x z in the absence of friction if there's friction then f net which will also have plus fr therefore if it has friction but how do we know that we have friction or not we are going to calculate f net using only f x y and f x z and then if it is equals to 0 0.0427 there is no friction but it, if it is not equals to 0 0.0427 then there is friction do you get what i'm saying do you get the concept hmm let's take a look so f y on x or x on y you know same thing is equals to maybe let me have a free body diagram of x and so that we can know whether we need to add them or subtract so between x and y they are attracting each other right so y let me use a ruler so y is pulling x towards itself uh which is a concept that i use time and after time uh so this is f y on x and then z is pulling x towards itself so this is uh f z okay so let's calculate f y uh y on x so that will be f is equals to k q1 q2 over r squared so k is 9 times 10 to the power 9 q1 is 3 times 10 to the minus 7 q2 is 5 times 10 to the minus 7 divided by r squared uh, r is known it is 0 0.05 from the equation above because that equation is just a continuation of the previous one so let me press that in my calculator 9 times 10 to the power 9 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the minus 7 5 times 10 to the minus 7 divided by 0 0.05 squared so okay let me make sure that i'm not making a mistake because i got 540 oh okay i made i had substituted the wrong thing five times ten to the minus four uh, because electrostatics is usually very low it's not that high so if i'm getting an answer in the hundreds i feel like i'm doing something wrong i'm getting 0 0.54 when i substitute correctly newtons right and then fz fz that is nine times ten to the power nine three times ten to the minus seven the magnitude of z four times ten to the minus seven everything divided by 0 0.04 uh we square that okay so let me press my calculator once more so that is let me check three and four 0 0.675 so fz is 0 0.675 so the f net in the absence of friction should be 0 0.675 minus 0 0.54 so how much is that 0 0.675 minus 0 0.54 that is 0 0.135 newtons this is the net force that you will experience in the absence of friction 0 0.135 but then now it experiences a net force of 0 0.0427 so the net force that we get is greater than 0 0.04327 so what happened to well <laughs> let me see the net force is what is given to us this is the force as a consequence of z and y right so the net force is actually uh less than 0 0.67 newtons so we can conclude here and say that there is friction as the net force is less than what we find when we use the electrostatic forces that are acting on the object 7.4 7.5 sphere y is brought into contact with sphere x and is placed back in its position how will the magnitude of the force that sphere x now exists on sphere y be affected choose from increase decrease or remain the same let me know in the comment section which answer did you go for increases decreases or remain the same one last thing study material and past papers at all past papers.com